And welcome back. He's got his own syndicated TV show, Animal Exploration with Jared Miller. And he likes to run with a pretty wild crowd. He's brought a few of his friends today, Jared Miller here, along with some of those exotic creatures for us to meet this morning. Great to have you with us. Good, good to have you, you back, including you good good to see this little Loris, who was on our show a few weeks ago. I know, isn't he beautiful? He awesome. is. His eyes are kind of close together. They are. You know, that actually helps him see really well at night, too. Yeah. His eye, he's nocturnal. And you know what's funny? He's actually pretty active for being this early in the morning. Chris, you want to feel, actually, he's looking for something. A lot of people say the same thing about us. We're yeah. pretty active for this early. Right? <laughs> okay, why don't you just dip your hands no, in there? No, you're so funny. I don't okay, do right? bugs. Oh, look, I don't fast, bugs. Can I just stick his face in there? I'm not no, a no, here, fan what I'll do is, No, 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 let me. Really? All right, wow. Hold your hand flat. Raggy, I have a whole new respect for you. hold your hand flat because he's venomous. We're going to need some hand sanitizer. Don't worry, he's just venomous. Yeah. So we have to know, we keep talking about the slow lores. Sure. Is mm -hmm. there really a fast loris? Why is there this the same? There's a couple other species. There's a, a slender loris, which, okay. I mean, that would lead you to believe that there's he a fast like loris. like a pretty slender guy. Yeah, but he's a, this is a slow guy. But look, all lorises are actually related to us. They're primates. And look at his hands. Like, yeah. he has four sets of hands. He, he does. does. Really and his he's grip amazing. is so strong. They spend their entire life hanging in this position, and they can live in one tree. They're from Indonesia. And again, they're a prosimian, or a really primitive primate. And look at this. I don't think he's that slow. Watch this. He just reaches and grabs. I'll take that bug. Thank but you very much. I had to pull my hand away because they are one of the only two venomous mammals Sorry, in the world. <laughs> oh. There's the platypus and then the slow loris. And actually, they use their venom, not like a snake, but they'll actually, the males aren't as toxic, but the females will put it all the venom all over their babies to right. protect the predators. Protect predators. Yeah. One of the next Isn't that else awesome? Do we oh, look at this guy. Here, Lou, bring this guy in. This, this guy, is the... this is one of my favorite birds in the world. She's an Egyptian vulture. And, you know, with animal exploration, we travel all over, we learn about different guys, but we're talking about adaptations, this is one of the only birds that actually uses tools. They live in Egypt, their favorite food are ostrich eggs, and this bird has actually developed a technique to grab a rock and smash open an You're ostrich kidding. egg and eat it. Look That's at the wild. wingspan, what are we looking at, about four feet? Beautiful. Looking at about four feet, this is a bird, like most, you'll see vultures right here in New York, and right. you can identify them by those long, Yeah, um, they call them rats. <laughs> yeah, they, I know, but they're a scavenger. Yeah, I know, it's, but, Again, this Amazing. is pretty deceiving because anyone at home that looks up an Egyptian vulture, a year from now she'll be completely white. They yeah. call them the wow. Pharaoh's chicken. In Egypt, they're on the sarcophagus because they turn bright white, her face will turn yellow, and they're one of the only vultures that actually has talons. Lou has to wear a glove That's because amazing. like a yeah. hawk or an owl. And I love that they can use tools. That's so cool. We also have this adorable Beautiful cat. little cat. I know, look at this. I don't know how long this cat will stay cute and adorable. This is just a calico, the, right? The African serval? <laughs> yeah, look how beautiful she is. Oh, she's gorgeous. Okay, so how old is this cat? This this cat's only about eight weeks old. Now, Erica, That's hold it? this. Hello. And, and she this, she wants the bugs. Take a look. Now, when, whenever I've been to Kenya, I've been fortunate enough to see a couple of servals in the wild. They're crepuscular, which means they come out only early in the morning or at night. She um, really wants the bugs. Can she have them? And look at it. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't want to feed okay. those. But <laughs> Bad for your diet. But Erica, if you lift that up a little bit, but she, she can play with that feather. She can, oh, they're efficient bird eaters. I saw a serval in Africa jump 12 feet in the air and kill a bird in mid-flight. It was awesome. Okay, how how big is she going to get? Come on, babe. They'll actually get about 40 pounds. Isn't that a beautiful, oh, wow. beautiful cat, though? And unfortunately, like a lot of African ah, wildcats, there we go. Spots, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people, they will hunt these for their coats. I mean, they almost call them like a little cheetah. They also call them giraffe cats. Look how long their legs are. See someone endangered? Uh, they're, they're kind of threatened cat. They're not yeah. an endangered species. They actually breed relatively well in right. captivity. But again, beautiful. Look at the size of those ears. I Amazing. Mean, I know her ears anything. are huge. She's like my cat when we first found her as a kitten. All right, we only have about 30 seconds. We can do one last one Can I quickly. do one last one? All right. How about the bug? The thorn-legged yeah. stick uh, bug. Look at these look guys. At I love these. I really don't adorable. do bugs. Look, it's like a big popsicle. Look yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. I'll protect you. <laughs> Thanks. No, these are these I are mean, they're awesome. pretty wild. Yeah. These guys are from New Guinea. You got them, Chris? Yeah, I got them. All right. There's actually eight of them on there. They're actually breeding right now. <laughs> but they blend in so perfectly. They really do. They have the perfect camouflage, and they call them thorn legs because if they stick you, Chris, it feels like a thorn going into is your Is it poisonous right. or not, just hurts? Not poisonous, but hurts extremely bad. And it's bad. a large bug on you, which for people like me is not good. But they're no, lovely. They blend they're, right in. They're beautiful, and they're found in Papua New Guinea. They are really Jared, cool. Jared, thank you so Great much. You we greatly appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was in my yeah, left hand. Yeah, sure you did it. <laughs>